Wow, that's so much food and it smells so good, like no joke. Ooh, I'm gonna eat that big piece of bacon. This is part two of the $10 grocery challenge. Let's get started. So in my last video, I went out to the stores and spent $10 USD and tried to buy as much grocery as I possibly could. It was really hard, but I ended up being really, really happy with what I bought. So in today's video, it is part two of the challenge and I'm going to be using all the ingredients that I bought and my challenge is to make as many different dishes as I possibly could with the ingredients that I bought and let's see what I come up with so the first dish I'll be making is a stir-fried rice noodle dish so we'll be using the rice noodle we bought also the carrots the cabbage as well as two eggs it's super delicious because the noodle and the veggies just soaks up any sauce that you put into it and it is also vegetarian i'm also making this because i know drink all of it and because we have limited ingredient for this challenge i'm going to keep the dishes simple but delicious before doing anything else i'm going to start by soaking my rice noodles they are quite dry and um, dehydrated i'm going to reconstitute it with some cold water be enough water to make sure it's fully submerged and I'm going to let that soak away while we prep all the other stuff. I'm going to add some carrot and I'm also going to add some cabbage to it. I'm just going to peel off a few leaves because we don't need the whole thing. So the rice noodle is now all nice and soft. We also have our sliced veggies on the side as well as our beat up egg. I'm just going to cut it a little smaller so it's not all tangled up. I'm going to be adding some soy sauce, just a dash of it. I'm also going to be using some oyster sauce. And of course we need some chili. I actually made this chili oil myself because it's delicious. I can mix it all up. Add everything back in and add the egg. Mm. So ready to eat it. And it's such a huge portion too. Wow. That's so much food and it smells so good, like no joke. I'm getting hungry just watching it. I must eat it. Mm. Mm, the veggie is still crunchy. The noodle itself is super flavorful because I put those delicious soy sauce. I put chili, it's slightly spicy because of the chili oil, which just makes it perfect. The egg is still nice and fluffy. The carrot is crunchy. The Reggie is also crunchy and it's just very healthy overall. I'm sure this will fill you up. Look how tall that is. I need to stop eating this because Draco needs to eat this too. Mm. This next dish I'm going to make is a quick broccoli side dish that I personally love to eat. Don't be scared of broccoli. Broccoli, when it's cooked right, it's absolutely delicious. It is one of my favorite vegetables. For this dish, I'm going to be using half a broccoli a little bit of carrots just for that nice orange color and one hard boiled egg. Let's get to it. Look at this beautiful broccoli. I'm gonna cut it in half because it's too big. I love cooking with broccoli, especially making side dishes like this because the flour part, it has so much surface area to grab onto sauces. I'm going to quickly wash these and blanch it. Broccoli turns such a beautiful green color when it's slightly blanched. Make sure you don't cook it super long and then it will just become yellow and all wilted. I'm not going to throw away that water. I'm going to use it to make a hard boiled egg. While we wait for everything to boil and cook and get nice and tasty, I'm just going to slice up some carrot. I personally love putting eggs in everything. I think there are people that hate eggs. I have a friend that does. 
Don't try this at home. My secret ingredient to make this dish super delicious is a little bit of mayo. I'm just gonna add one tablespoon. And I'm going to add one quarter teaspoon of salt, however much you like. More of my hot sauce. I love this stuff. It's like good for everything. I'm gonna start mixing to have a taste. It's good. I'm gonna have a final taste. Have some of that broccoli and carrots. Mmm, oh, it's so good. Mmm, I love eating my own food. Look at this beautiful dish. Wow, the color is so pretty. Mm. Whoever said they hate broccoli, just only because they haven't had this dish. The broccoli and the carrot is perfectly crunchy. And then the broccoli, like all that little flour, it just grabs onto the sauce so well. A little bit of mayo just give it a tad of creaminess and the salt make it super savory and tasty. And of course, my favorite hot oil just makes it. Look at that little specks of hot oil beautifulness out there. So good. Mm. Sure, mayo is not the healthiest stuff, but with a whole bowl of veggies and delicious eggs, just a little bit of mayo is okay. I let myself go. For this next dish, I'm gonna use this half of broccoli that we have left and bacon to make this super delicious stir-fry broccoli. I first ate this dish when I went to university and went to a senior's house and he made this dish. And I was like, oh my God, bacon can be eaten in a stir-fry? It's absolutely super tasty. Let me start cooking. I'm also going to add an onion to this dish just for extra flavor and texture. I'm just going to cut them into bite-sized chunks too. If you think about it, bacon is really just pork belly meat. And it's semi-sliced, so it's perfect for stir-fry. We still have so much left. Oil first. Just a little bit because there's going to be so much that delicious bacon fat. And goes our bacon. delicious and healthy dish. The color is so pretty. Mm. So good. Bacon. It's so much better for any takeout food you ever have. The ingredient is so simple and you can literally make this dish in 10 minutes. With some rice. Mm, perfect. Mm, I gotta save some for Jacob. One more. Mm. So good. This next dish I'm planning to make is kind of my play on the Japanese teppanyaki. Now, because I don't have all the ingredients for teppanyaki, I'm kind of getting creative. And the recipe I'm using today, I actually never made it myself before. So from our ingredient list, I'm going to be using some of those cabbages and some rice noodle, just a little bit, our bacon and two eggs. The first step, of course, is to soak our rice noodles. Nice. Once the noodle is all like soaked and soft, I'm gonna chop up into smaller pieces. And to make sure everything binds together, I'm just gonna add two eggs. Salt. Salt is always good. Combine it together. I think it's gonna work. It's all nice and 
sticky. So there's like a batter thing I can do. And the rice noodle does get crunchy. So I think it's gonna add a nice texture to it too. I almost forgot that we need the bacon. I got three strips of bacon. This one is kind of like half a strip. I'm gonna cut into smaller pieces, like that big, I think. I'm gonna hold on to those. I'm not gonna do anything now. I think I made way too much batter. This is gonna be enough for a lot. I'm gonna add some bacon to this. So when it flips, it gets all the bacon nice and crispy. Oh, it's perfect. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Look how golden brown that is. Let's put it on a plate. Ah, the bacon is so perfect. So delicious. I'm gonna cook up the rest of the batter too. Look at that. So delicious. Let me take a bite. Mm. I don't know if you can hear that, but the rice noodles is really crunchy when it's fried. Mm. so good the rice noodles in the middle is nice and soft and it has that egg and the bacon oh i just got to the bacon part let me take a big bite mm. look at that big piece of bacon the bacon adds a perfect saltiness to this and it's nice and crispy oh i'm gonna eat that big piece of bacon mm. so good i'm going to get draco to eat it he just playing game Crunchy. Give me a walk. Right? This next dish, not only do I love to eat it, it's gonna be super pretty, super cute. You guys will see. I'm so excited. Here are the ingredients we'll be using today. I'm gonna dig into my second broccoli. We're going to need a little bit of carrot and one egg. This is my secret weapon. It is a super cute cutter. You see how it comes into play? I'm just gonna crack my eggs. When it's beaten, we're going to add some water. Once it's consistent in color, we can leave it. The broccoli is really going to be more for aesthetics, so I'm only going to be using the crown parts. It's ready for steaming. Look at that, isn't that super pretty? It's like little flowers in a field. I think this is one of those dishes that I think is too good, too pretty to eat, but we're gonna have to eat it. Nothing is too good to eat. Mm. Oh my God, the egg custard is so soft. Mm. That literally melts in your mouth. I can't stop eating it. The carrot and the broccoli is such a nice addition because it adds a crunch to it. The egg custard is really well seasoned and it's really creamy and it's kind of really just warming. When you eat it, it's so pretty. I think just because it's so pretty, it's more delicious. Mm. And it was so easy to make. Literally, you scramble an egg and you steam it. That's it. Pat it in the back. Good job, Sunny. Excellent job. Honestly, half of the taste comes from how pretty it looks. 
always make it pretty so today is kind of a gloomy day and i'm feeling like drinking some really delicious noodle soup so i'm thinking of making a rice noodle soup ish thing um i love the soup base from sundu bujige so i'm gonna use the soup base up for that and i'm going to add a couple of delicious toppings for the soup base i'm going to add a tablespoon of korean red pepper flakes and sesame oil mm, smells so good that's good I think we're good. Let's start cooking. We still have so much rice noodle left. And the best part about the soup is that we don't need to soak rice noodle. It just goes right in. Noodle is fully cooked, so I'm gonna add in the broccoli and the carrot. Our pretty carrots. It needs one more seasoning. Fish sauce. Fish sauce is honestly delicious. When it's all ready, add a raw egg and turn off the heat. This is a sit-down kind of event. Soup, oh, it's so warm. Let me drink the soup first. Mmm, so good. I'm telling you the fish sauce give it an extra layer of flavor that I absolutely love. Noodles. Mmm, the noodle absorbs all the flavor of the broth and it's just so savory and spicy. I mean, I personally love a little bit of spicy soup and the sesame oil is so fragrant. Mm. The veggie is so crunchy because I added it at the end. This soup warms me up so much. I'm looking outside, it's actually snowing, and um, this is too delicious. I'm gonna watch TV and finish eating my soup. Wow, that was not easy. I tried really hard to stretch the limited variety of ingredients that I had as far as possible, and I think I did a really good job. I think the variety of dishes that I came up with is very different, and they are so delicious. Honestly, if anything, I loved all the food that I made. I think I still have more than half the ingredients left. So I will have to come up with a few more dishes, but this video is getting really long, so I'm gonna end it here and possibly have a part three. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys are enjoying this $10 grocery challenge part two. And remember to comment, subscribe, and like this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye.